Hey, hey, you guys, welcome to the Chalk Monster Boutique. How are you all tonight? It's kind of tonight, kind of afternoon, right? My name is Kathy, I'm a couturier with Chalk Couture, and I'm so excited you're here because I'm doing a project that, um, I gotta be honest, um, I've been a little nervous, a little bit intimidated by it just because it has so many beads and I'm not really like a bead painter person, but we're, we're going to tackle it and it's going to be so fun and so super cute and I bet it's easier than I thought it would be. So we're going to do um, the Chalk Made Hop To It kit and you guys, these are low, getting low in stock. Um, I have a couple in my inventory, so if you want me to send you one right away, I can do that or you can order it online. But I'm going to show you how to make it and you're, if you want this, you want to type list in the comments or like put in the comments, send to me and I can send it to you um, for me directly before they sell out, okay? Because they, they're probably not going to make it um, through Easter, okay? So uh, do we have some friends in the house? Hey Jan, hey Sheila, hey Danielle. Hey Dusty, welcome. Hey Donna and Polly and Gail. So many good friends in the house. Thanks for watching tonight, you guys. All right, I'm gonna go get um, my paste and my trays ready for my kit. I'm gonna play you guys a quick little video and I'll be right back, okay? Don't go away. Hey you guys, my name is Kathy and I am the Chalk Monster and you are in the Chalk Monster Boutique. So welcome. While I'm getting today's project ready uh, behind the scenes, there are a couple things that you can do to get ready for today's project. So first of all, if you are watching me live, type hashtag live in the comments below. And if you're watching the replay, type hashtag replay. That way I can go back and say hello and welcome you to the Chalk Monster Boutique. If you guys are a newbie and you have never seen me before, you've never been in the boutique and you've never heard of Chalk Tour, or maybe you've heard of Chalk Tour, but you're new to me and the Chalk Monster Boutique, welcome, welcome, welcome. I would love it if you guys would type newbie, hashtag newbie in the comments below. And if you're a designer, welcome designers. I love to have designers in my group. So just type hashtag designer and throw me some hearts. All right. Next thing you can do, if you're watching me on Facebook, I would love it if you would share or sprinkle this video. Um, share it with your friends and family if you love it. Also, I would love it if you would follow me on Facebook and like this page and turn on the notification. There should be a little bell in the corner. Turn on notifications so that you never miss a single moment when I go live. If you are watching me on YouTube, Chalk Monster Boutique, that is my channel name on YouTube. Welcome to all my YouTube followers. So I would love it if you guys would like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then also turn on the notifications so you know when I'm going live. And finally on Instagram, Chalk Monster Boutique, I would love it if you would follow me on my Instagram page as well. All right, as we get started today, I'm gonna tell you about our Club Couture subscription club. It is the most amazing subscription club that is out there. I'll tell you all about it, um, what you get every month, and if you join my club, I give you some extra treats and benefits. So I would love to have you join my club. Just type hashtag club anytime during this project or this video for more information. All right, finally, before we get started, I'm also going to tell you more about today, the business opportunity with Chalk Couture. You guys, you can start your own home-based business right now, okay? You can get our amazing designer kit, your business in a box, and get started today, building your empire, working from home. We also have an amazing, an amazing um, team opportunity group. I can get you in there, you can watch a quick video, get all your questions answered, because I want you to make an informed decision about starting uh, starting your business with Chalk Couture. Um, free to join that opportunity group, you can win uh, products and prizes, and it's a lot of fun. So I'm gonna tell you more about it, but if you're interested in the Chalk Couture business, with a business in a box, just type hashtag join and I will get you some more information. All right, you guys ready to get started? Let's go and welcome to the Chalk Monster Boutique. Hey you guys, welcome back to the boutique. How are y'all? So many more friends in the house, I love it. Hello Judy, hey Karen. 
It has been a good Saturday, Karen. It's been busy, um, but it's been good. How is, how's your Saturday been? Hey, Terry. And uh, we've got Valerie and Dusty and Gail and Polly. Dusty, no worries. I'm glad you're here. Glad you were here. And Jan and Carol, awesome. My six-year-old granddaughter and I are working on this. Oh, cool. Are you working on this project that I'm doing right now, that I'm doing today? If so, that would be awesome. Maybe you can give me some tips. That'd be great. All right, you guys, if you are a newbie to Chaka Tour, if you've never tried it before, I want you to type newbie in the comments. I have the most um, amazing sample kits. I'd love to send you one. They are $8.95 each. They include a chalk suede tag, a cute little tag that you can use on packages or ornaments, whatever you want to use it for, a paste tray, a mini squeegee, a mini stir stick, a mini transfer, all of the... Um, transfers are different different uh, designs and a pa packet of paste which are all different colors so if you'd like to try a sample kit just type a sample in the comments okay all right guys let's get started with our kit and I'll be telling you about um, we have our Easter and religious sale that's going on right now is um, everything um, Eastern religious is 50% off so if you want the link to all of my specials um, that are on sale right now, just type specials in the comments and I'll make sure you get that link, okay? Hey Denise, how are you? Terry says I was doing a hot mess earlier. How was it, Terry? How did it turn out? Okay, you guys, we're doing the Hop To It Chalk Made Kit. Sorry, I'm trying to keep my head and my ears out of the way, okay? How did it turn out, Terry? Okay. So you guys, the kit contains everything you need to make this adorable bunny garland, okay? It even has the instructions. So can you see the garland there? That's what we're gonna make, okay? So it's got all of the instructions. It's got um, pictures of everything. It comes with everything you need. And y'all, um, now you've got this video to watch as well, okay? All right, Denise, I will send you the link for the specials. Hey, Ann, welcome, my dear. I'll send you that link too. Denise is good, I'm so glad. So glad, hey, Susan, Susie, sorry, Susie, hey, Susie. And did I say hi to Marilyn, awesome. Terry says it came out good, she's still learning. Awesome, I loved it. You purchased this kit, awesome, Karen. We're gonna figure it out together. Hey, Marilyn, awesome, Denise says, I love it. Okay, so if you guys, um, if you love Chalk Tour, if you like me even just a little bit, if you wanna sprinkle this out to friends and family or to groups that you're part of, that would be amazing too, okay? And then you got this cute little bunny transfer, okay? Uh, what I love about this is you can do the bunny either way, right? It's got like the reverse. The reverse bunny. Hey Jeanette, hey Crystal, how are you guys? Now it comes with three paste colors. I'm gonna show you those colors. Um, let's do that first, okay? So it comes with three paste colors. Couture Coral, right? Which is like a hot pink kind of. Shimmer Harvest, Peachy Keen, okay? And then it comes with all the ribbon. It comes with the mini squeegee and three paste trays. I'm gonna add some colors to my repertoire, if you guys don't mind, because I have more colors. Hey, Katrina, how are you? Hey, Jeannie. Hey, Wanda, Wanda loves it. Awesome, Wanda. Do you have, oops, I almost lost an egg. Do you have this kit, Wanda? Okay. So we've got all these cute little eggs, we've got our twine, and then we've got all of our beads, okay? So why don't we, I'm an instructions kind of girl, so why don't we follow the instructions? Hey Renee, yes, this is our chalk made hop to it kit. If you guys want the link for this kit, type list in the comments, okay? Type list, it's $30. If you're a designer, and we'll talk more about how you become a designer, if you're a designer, you get 40% off the kit. So just type list in the comments and you'll get the link to the kit. It's, um, it's $30, but if you're a designer, you get 
40% off. Okay. All right. Let's turn some music on. Get us chalking. Okay. So step-by-step -step instructions, you guys. All right, Denise, you want the link? I'll get it to you, my dear. Renee, you as well. I love it. Okay. All right. So first, cut your transfer along the provided cut lines to separate the individual elements. Okay. Let's do that. You guys, this is kind of, um, this is better that we have step-by-step -step instructions. I usually don't have step-by-step -step instructions and I just have to kind of wing it. So um, I'm gonna appreciate this. Okay, so we're gonna cut our, and I'm using our transfer trimmers. I like our transfer trimmers because the adhesive on the transfers on the back doesn't stick to them. And they're teal, so they're just cute and they match, right? They match my transfers. Isn't that cute? Okay, so we've done that. Peel off the transfer backer sheet and fuzz your transfer by gently pressing onto the fuzzing cloth, carefully pulling it upward. Align the transfer pattern with the shape of your bunny slim cut. Smooth the transfer out to ensure it has properly adhered and that there are no bubbles and wrinkles. Okay, so we've got two bunnies and I do have my fuzzing cloth. Now the fuzzing cloth is not included in the kit, you guys. So if you don't have a fuzzing cloth and you want one, because it is helpful, just type fuzzing cloth, okay? And I will, um, I have some in stock I can send you, just like I have these kits I can send you, and I, or I will send you the link for the fuzzing cloth, okay? So this is what it means when it says fuzz your transfer, okay? And we do that because, where are these cute little bunnies? We do that because our transfers are super sticky. And so it helps to get, especially when they're new, helps to get a little bit of fuzz on them before you chalk your surface. Then they don't stick so much and it comes up a little bit easier, okay? Hey Sharon, hey Robin, hey Wanda. Okay, so now we're gonna do the second one. Put those over there. And again, you just fuzz them up, just a little bit of fuzz, and then stick your bunny. Now, if you're having trouble lining up your bunny on your surface, you could always um, turn him over and like, sometimes it's easier if you, do it, if you do it this way, you know what I mean? Okay, so we've got our bunnies lined up, okay? My bunnies look pretty good. So I'm doing the floral. Let's move this out of the way. I'm doing the floral bunny on one side and I'm doing the plaid on the other, okay? You can do both sides if you want, switch them up. Um, you've, got, you've got the reverse transfers, right? So you can do that, right? You can switch them up, reverse them, however you want, okay? Hey, Bonnie. Hi, Amanda. Okay, so I'm going to do, okay, so it's uh, following the instructions, right? Okay, um, need your Chalkology paste singles. Cut the paste singles open and squeeze the desired amount of paste onto a color tray using a new tray for each color. Okay, so what they mean is you need these up a little bit. I'm gonna use my paste jars because it's more economical, and I'm gonna save these for my sample kits, but if you're using these, just knead them a little bit. And here's a tip, you guys. Cut off the bottom, okay? Because if you don't need, and only squeeze just a tiny bit out onto your paste tray, okay? Because you're not gonna need the whole thing. You definitely don't need the whole package. You're gonna wanna save it for later. So cut off the bottom. When you're finished, roll it like a toothpaste tube and then put a binder clip on it. If you cut off the top, then you don't know what color it is when you roll it down, right? So cut off the bottom so you still have that color on top. Just a little tip trick for you guys. Okay, 
Use your mini squeegee to apply paste over your transfer. See color and placement suggestions. Scrape away excess paste as evenly as possible once fully chalked. And before the paste dries, remove the transfer from the surface. Okay, so we are going to do our first bunny. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do our first bunny. Um, Shimmer Harvest is what comes in the kit. So I'm gonna start with the Shimmer Harvest, just getting a stir stick and some squeegees. I like to give my paste a good stir. And if it seems, you want it to be the consistency of yogurt, okay? If it seems a little thick, spritz it with some distilled water, okay? Make sure you use distilled water and not tap water. Tap water could have, depending on where you live, could have some minerals or elements in it that would make your paste mold. And um, I would be really sad if I had moldy paste. Who likes, does anyone out there like moldy paste? I do not like moldy paste. Hey, Teresa. You guys, tell me where you're watching from today. Are you at home? Are you at work? Are you on vacation? Tell me where you're from. I love to hear the cities and towns, states where everybody is from. One of these days, I'd love to see if I could get like someone from every state on watching live. Wouldn't that be fun? How many states do we have on today? Let me know. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Okay. So I've covered up my bunny surface, right? And then I just squeegee off the excess paste. You guys, all of your excess paste goes back into your jar. So there is, um, you never waste it. You never have to worry about wasting it. Okay, so then I just peel him off. Isn't he so cute? Oh my God. Throw me some hearts if you think he is so cute. I wish I was, I'm, a, I'm gonna be on vacation next week for spring break. I'm excited. Teresa's from Spokane. Hey Peggy. Jeannie, Janine is home in Missouri. I love it. Bonnie's Small Village, Upstate New York. That sounds awesome, Bonnie. Oh, it's raining. Got it, Terry. Montgomery, Louisiana, Polly. I love it. Flowers with your cricket in Wisconsin. That sounds awesome. Yes, there is a designer discount, Denise, on the bunny kit. 40% off. So it is $30, but you get 40% off if you're a designer. And you guys, um, since Denise asked, we have three different ways you can become a designer, okay? So we have a designer access pass. Let me show you the picture. We have a designer access pass for $9.99, okay? We have a, um, and it's free in Canada. Option two is our spring designer kit for $99. Option three is our limited edition Easter kit for $99. It has that cute Easter bunny slim cut in there, um, that cut out. It has the spring cottontail market Easter bunny transfer. Okay, and if you guys, if you join with option two or three in the month of March, you get three free surfaces that you don't normally get as part of our kit. They're all box frames. One is a six by 18, and then two are five by five box frames. And then you guys, when you're a designer, you get 40% off everything and you can even earn a free product. Now, if you're saying, I don't wanna sell, you don't have to sell. You can just buy for the discount, okay? Just buy for yourself. So if you want more information about those kits or how to get the designer discount, just type info in the comments, okay? Amanda, I am not a teacher. I'm actually in finance. Do I seem like a teacher, Amanda? Terry's in California. Anne's in Conway, Missouri. Wanda's Nova Scotia. I love it. Hey, Sybil, I'm good. How are you? Renee says in both kits. What's your question, Renee? I'm not sure what you mean, Renee. Tell me what you mean when you say in both kits. What is your question? Maybe I missed it, I apologize. 
Okay, so I'm covering up Sweet Bunny number two, Couture Coral. Oh, no, um, Amanda, my, um, my sons are on spring break, and so I'm going away with one of them, with him and his girlfriend. Yeah, we're going out of town. No. I always take spring break off with the kids. As long as they want to, like, spend it with me, I'll take it off. I, one day when they don't have spring break anymore or they don't want to spend it with me, I guess I won't. Right? Good, Sybil. Oh, Renee, yes. The extra surfaces, the three box frames, the 6x18 and the um, two 5x5s, all three of those come with both the spring kit and the Easter kit. Doesn't come with the designer access pass because that's only $9.99, but it does come with both. You get the free services with both of those kits, okay? So just type info if you want more information. Oh, first time catch me live. Awesome, Renee, I love it. Hey, Priscilla. Yeah, Amanda, you know, they don't stay young forever. Oh, I meant to go back to, okay. Sorry, I meant to go back to project view. So I've chalked bunny number one and bunny number two, Shimmer Harvest, Couture Coral, okay. Now it says, allow your paste to dry. Use a quick dry tool before turning your bunny over to chalk the opposite side. Repeat the above steps with the remaining pattern from your transfer and your second bunny slim cut until both of your bunnies have been fully chalked. Okay, so we need to, um, I'm gonna plug in my quick dry tool. Now you guys, this is not in the kit either, the quick dry tool, but if you want the link for this tool, just type, tool in the comments, okay? Just type tool in the comments and um, here we go. I'll get you the link for the tool too, if you want it, okay? All right, Denise, I'll give you the info on becoming a designer. You got it. Hey, Lisa, hey, Rita. Hey, Grace, welcome to the boutique. Okay, so just drying these off because we're gonna flip them over, chalk the other side. You don't have to, but if you're going to, it's best to dry them first. Okay, so we're gonna flip this sweet bunny over, flip this sweet bunny over, okay, and We're gonna put the transfer on him just like that. Oh, you know, I didn't fuzz it. That's okay. This is not, um, these aren't super sticky, so I think it's okay. I mean, they are, but the wood, it, the transfer is super sticky, the wood is not. So I feel like it's gonna peel off okay if I don't fuzz it. Okay, so now, let's get this guy on here, okay? And I'm gonna do the opposite colors. Bonnie says I'm waiting for the dry tool with the longer cord. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were, Denise. You crazy girl. I thought you were, my friend. No worries. So you get you can get this cute little kit for 40% off. Jeannie says, what's the best to use on coffee cups or glasses? Ink or paste? So Jeannie, if you um, want to make it permanent, so say you're making a coffee mug, like a ceramic coffee mug, and you don't want it to wash off, then you wanna use ink, and then you wanna heat set it, okay? I have some heat set instructions on how you heat set like coffee mugs and glass in the oven. So if you want those, type um, heat set instructions in the comments and I'll send you that, okay? And that will make it permanent. If you want to wash them off, so cute. If you want to wash it off and not make it permanent, then you want to use paste because our paste will wash off with water. 
Okay, so it just depends. Karen says, do you know if there are surfaces for the Bunny Duo Transfer? Um, do you mean the one that's on sale right now, Karen? That's 50% off? I don't believe there are, if that's the one you're talking about. They, it's a transfer from last year and we had, um, I'll show them to you. We had these adorable, I have them right here. We had these adorable bunny cutouts last year and that's what the transfer is for. So, um, but they did not bring the bunny cutouts back this year. So I don't think so. Thanks, Jean. Jeannie. Thanks, Denise. Okay, Jeannie, I will send the instructions. You got it, my dear. The, I have a little flyer that has the heat set instructions for um, glass and ceramic in the oven, or if you want to um, ink a shirt and make it um, permanent so you can wash it. Okay, so I'll send that to you. If anybody else wants those heat set instructions for ink, just type instructions in the comments. I'm happy to send them to you. Okay, so again, we've covered this one with our Couture Coral, and I just squeegee it off. I didn't need to get another squeegee dirty. I already have one there. Oh, look, isn't he so cute? You guys, if, I like, if you like my bunnies, Throw me some hearts. Hit that heart button. Hit the heart button if you love these bunnies. Yeah, I know. I know, Karen. Um, the surface, the, we had the surface last year. Yep. Hey, Joanne. All right, Renee, I will. Yes, ma'am, Karen, I will send them to you. Hey, Mary. Welcome to the boutique, how are you? Okay, I'm just drying off my bunnies really quick. This is helpful if you guys wanna move on to the light, the next step in your project and you don't wanna to have to wait for them to dry. Get the quick dry tool. And I love this tool as opposed to like a hair dryer or a heat gun because it doesn't get too hot. So I don't have to worry about it melting my transfers, okay? Oh. Did you, have you guys seen the new Academia Chalk Paste Color of the Month? This is it, I just got mine. Isn't it gorgeous? It's so like rich and luxurious and opulent, okay? This is, um, here's another picture of it. It's called Academia. And if you place an order of $75 or more online, you can um, you unlock the ability to purchase these for $16 a jar, okay? They're $16 a jar, you can get up to three in one order. And it's, um, it's the chalk paste color of the month. So when they sell out, it's gone, they're not gonna make any more. It's called Academia, I love it, I love it. So um, yeah, if you place the 75, it's only $45 if you're a designer, $75 order or more online, you can get um, up to three jars of Academia. $16 each. Okay, Mary, you got it. Renee says, I have two Holland Lops, so I'm all, oh, I'm eat, oh, I love bunnies. That's awesome, Renee. Yes, Marilyn. Thanks, Jeannie. Okay, so let's see. Next step in our bunny garland. Okay, it says to clean our transfers immediately. We're gonna do that later. Okay. Um. Dry the transfer elements flat with sticky side up. Okay, we did that. When your paste on both sides of the bin is dried, use your hot glue, gun, hot glue gun to attach the cotton ball tails. Okay, well, I did not read ahead, you guys. So let me see if I have my hot glue gun up here in my chalk room. I don't think I do. So we might have to attach, I think my hot glue gun is downstairs. Okay, you guys, we'll attach our bunnies later because my hot glue gun is not up here. Don't worry about that, okay? But what you'll do is you'll attach the little bunnies with your hot glue gun, okay? Should've read ahead. All right. 
So, moving right along. Um, Marilyn says, does chalk work on cardboard? It does. Um, what I would do though, Marilyn, is fuzz it. Fuzz your transfer really well. Maybe even wax the cardboard because you don't want your transfer to stick so much on the cardboard that it pulls up the paper. Okay, so be careful about that. Okay, um, add a little bit of water to your paste and your color trays and mix to create a paint-like consistency. Use a paintbrush to paint your wooden eggs and beads. Allow time for the painted beads and eggs to dry. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Put our bunnies right here. And we're gonna mix up some colors. So we're gonna use, and you don't need a lot, you guys, just put some down. We're gonna use some Shimmer Harvest. We're gonna use some Couture Coral, okay? Your uh, kit comes with Peachy Keen. So we're gonna use Use some peachy keen. Okay, so put some of that down. And then I also I want to use some eggshell blue. This is one of our new on vogue colors, which means it's only here for the season. So when it's gone, it's gone and not coming back. Okay. So there we go. That's eggshell blue. I might even use some academia because it's just so beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of water. Okay. And let's do, let's paint with peachy keen first, okay? Now, if you put too much in your paste tray, okay, like too much paste and you don't use it all and you watered it down, no worries. Put it back. If you're using the paste packets, it's hard to get it back into the packet, but you can try, okay? If you're using the jars, just put it back in the jar, okay? It's okay if it's watered down. Mix it all together. It'll mix right in, it won't matter, okay? So we've watered it down so it's like a paste-like consistency, okay? Then we're going to take one of our big eggs, okay? Because this is the part that makes me nervous, but I guess it's okay. It, should, it makes, me, <laughs> makes me nervous because like, I don't know how, I guess there's no way. I'm like, how am I gonna paint the eggs without getting it all over my fingers? I don't understand, but I guess, I guess you just get it all over your fingers. I don't know, because that's what's happening to me. Okay, so I'm going to stand it up and see. Okay, all right. That's working, working, working. All right, where are all my other beads? gotten these out because okay let's see if we separate these and we do let's, let's divide them evenly shall we does anybody know of a good way to paint these beads without like just getting it all over yourself Like, that's the part I don't get. Because it is getting all over me. You know what I'm saying? Okay, maybe we'll leave a few natural. How about that? Okay, we'll do one of these big ones. Okay. Let's do like when you guys you could try like not watering it down and see if that's easier. You know, totally up to you. Okay. That one was a little bit easier. Maybe it's because of the shape. Okay. I think um the 
balls seem easier than the egg. Can you guys see me? The balls definitely seem easier than the egg. But you guys, if you get it all over you like I'm doing, don't worry about it. Um, it washes off. Okay. guys think so far? Any questions? Yeah, I thought about that, Teresa. I did think about that. Um, that might actually be easier, especially if you have a lot to do. Teresa's saying put them in a Ziploc bag and like roll them around. Um, I do think that would be easier. You think that would work? Paint pen, yes. Jeannie, the only problem with that is we don't have paint pens in all of our colors. We only have them in black and white and gold and silver. Renee says, I'm a sloppy crafter, hence why I have brown paper on my table. Yes, I hear you, hear you on that one, Renee. Okay. All right, I'm gonna use the same brush. You guys, I love this brush. It comes as part of our artist toolkit. So if you need some good brushes, some good tools, um, this is a good one. Okay, so let me mix this up a little bit. I've already got water in here. So I'm just mixing up the water with the paste. This is our Couture Coral. Okay. I guess the good thing is, is these beads are drying while we're doing this, right? Get a bead there. Okay. Um, okay. So let's do. Oops, I just sloshed it on me. No big deal. All right, you guys. Um, we also have. Club Couture. Club Couture is our monthly subscription box, okay? And so once a month, every month, you get an eight and a half by 11 inch size transfer. Oh, lovely. My egg fell over. Are they sitting there? That's not good. I need him to stand up so he can dry. Okay, this is what I was afraid of. <laughs> Such a mess. All right, that's fine. I'm just gonna be messy. That's just the way it is. Okay, so it's $21.99 a month. And yeah, I definitely should have done the Ziploc bag technique. So $21.99 a month. And you get an eight and a half by 11 inch size transfer plus three packets of paste ship to your door every month. You get free shipping on your box every month. And then you get all kinds of deals and discounts from Chocotour. You get discounted flat rate shipping on your next online order. And you get a promotion from Chalk every month. And this month, you guys, it's pretty amazing. Um, if you spend $100 or more online, you get a free transfer tote and a free fuzzing cloth. Isn't that awesome? So if you're my club member, make sure you take advantage of that, okay? If you're not my club member, why not? I would love to have you join Club Couture. This is the transfer this month. Okay, this is the design. And like I said, you get the transfer and you get three packets of paste, okay? Every month. So this is the one for March. So if you want more information about the club, just type club. And you guys, if you're my club member, um, I have 
Club Couture Member Day on the 10th of every month where you get extra discounts and perks from me. Plus, when you join my club, I give you a mini toolkit when you join. So, like I said, if you want more information about the club, just type hashtag club. There we go. I can't believe that egg stood up. Okay. Renee says, I did see someone put spray paint in a bag, spray it up with water and shake it. Yeah, that's probably what I, I thought about that, Renee. I should have done that. I think I thought it would be like too messy and I don't know what I was thinking because this is really messy. I'm also thinking, gotta be a better way than like getting getting paste everywhere, right? You know, I, yeah, I think that's, I think it's a great thought, Jeannie, great thought. Yeah, you wouldn't have to use our paste colors, you could use different um, paint pens for sure. So I think that's a great thought. You guys, we also have um, our Try Me kit for the month of March. Our Try Me kits are always 20% off, and the one, for March is called Easter, Happy Easter Swirls. I'll show you a picture of it. Happy Easter Swirls, isn't that so cute? So it comes with the, the five by seven transfer, the five by seven box frame, two packets of paste, and a mini squeegee. Everything you need to make, um, Make this kit, make this project, okay? And our Try Me kits are always 20% off. I think this is like 28 this month. If you're a designer, you get your 40% discount off of it. So, okay, Mary, you want information about the club? You got it, my dear. Um, so yeah, if you want this kit or you want the link to um, check it out, just type kit in the comments, okay? All right, we have one more one more paste color to go okay we're gonna do some beads some wooden beads and shimmer harvest I appreciate you guys sticking with me to the end it's gonna be exciting going to be awesome okay for sure I think I'm gonna leave one egg white I don't know about this shimmer. It's like not, maybe I didn't water it down enough. Let me try some more water. This shimmer is not really sticking to the egg. I think it's because my paste was a little too thick. And that's the problem. If you don't water down your paste enough, then it doesn't like turn into paint. You know what I mean? Let's just try watering it down just a little bit more. Let's see if that helps. Otherwise, it helps a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure about the. Hmm. I'm not loving it. Let me try. I think I just think it's too thick. Let me try shimmer gold. Your paste will be new, so it'll be the right consistency, if you know what I mean. I'm going to try Shimmer Rose Gold. See how that looks. See if that's a little bit thinner. And it's such a pretty color. Okay. Let's try that instead. I'm just going to put a little bit on here. It's definitely better consistency. Give it a little bit of water. Rita says putting them on a skier to put beads and eggs on to paint and dry. A lot of a dot of hot glue to keep them from sliding off. Oh that is a really good idea Renee. I love that idea. 
Oh, Rita said that. Rita, where were you when I needed you, my friend? You know, I had that idea in my head, Rita. Um, I just didn't, I didn't know there was such a thing. Renee, I have been doing this um, for about four years. Yeah, four years. I love it. I love it. It is definitely my creative outlet. Okay, you guys, this rose gold works so much better. My brush still has a little bit of um, couture coral on it, so it's kind of a hot pink. I just think the shimmers don't work as well for coverage. Use the paste, you guys. This is kind of pretty. But I think, um, I think the shimmers, use like the regular matte paste, okay? I think the shimmers just don't um, work as well to paint with, if that makes sense. But it's, I don't know, the, the consistency of it. Um, so yeah. Um, so let's do a couple more of these. So use them, I would say use the mattes to paint your beads with. Keep the shimmer harvest for your bunny, okay? That's my recommendation. Okay, and then I think we're gonna dry our beads and we're gonna be done painting beads because I have got a serious mess going on for sure. Yeah, try the um, plastic bag idea, you guys. Or like Rita's idea with the skier. I don't even, what is a skier? What's a skier, Rita? I don't even know. I think it's a cool concept. So, um, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna put my, even though I watered it down, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna put it back in the um, I like to I'm gonna put it back in the jar and I like to put a little lid on top because I think it keeps your oops I dropped the bead I think it keeps your paste from drying out. Grab that bead okay this is gonna go over here and we'll just put I'm letting those dry for just a second while I put the lids back on. So I don't do any more damage. Did you guys know Transfer Palooza is going on too? Do y'all know what Transfer Palooza is? Transfer Palooza is our sale in March where you can buy one transfer, sorry, buy three transfers, get one free, okay? It's all transfers, even the ones that are on sale. All transfers, all sizes. So um, how it works is put four transfers in your cart and the lowest price transfer is free, okay? So if you guys like free transfers, free stuff, I want you to type free in the comments, okay? Type free in the comments if you like free stuff and would like some free transfers. Okay, I don't know about the egg, you guys. That egg is really wet. Let's stick this one over here. Clean up our eggshell blue. I love that color. I'll put its lid on. And then we'll be ready to dry our beads. Ann wishes for free stuff. All right, Ann, I'll send you the details about Transfer Palooza. You can get transfers for free. Hey, Sheila. Teresa says, oh, for your shish kebabs. That's pretty cool. 
Bonnie says I use a small wooden dowel and crate clips to hold them on. That's a really good idea too, Bonnie. Renee likes free stuff. Mary likes free stuff. I like free stuff, right? For sure. All right, let's see if we can dry some of these. If they're not dry, you guys, we might have to assemble our kit in parts, you know what I mean? Because you definitely want your beads to be dry. Oops. You definitely want dry eggs and dry beads for sure. These are getting dry though. I think we're going to be able to do it. If you can't wait, get yourself this quick dry tool. Bonnie, you've made four of what? Four of these garlands? Is that what you're talking about? How did yours turn out, Bonnie? How did yours turn out? Are they so cute? Are you a pro, Bonnie? I think you are. I think you're a professional crafter. You're so talented. This one's kind of cool. This one has got some gold. The, the shimmer rose gold plus the uh, couture coral in it. I kind of like it. Okay, let me wash my hands off again. Oh, that's awesome, Bonnie. You'll have to send me a picture of yours. I bet they're gorgeous. All right, you guys. I just had my nails done today and I have chalk paste all over them, but it's okay. It'll wash off. Okay, so now it says, um, oh, how pretty. Bonnie, you hang them in your windows. So it says to wrap a piece of tape on the end of your twine and you want to do that so it doesn't fray and ravel, right, as you're stringing. Of your mid-length twine. Okay, mid-length twine. Well. Oh, I see why. This is the long twine. I see. Okay, so I'm going to put the long twine back here. This is my mid-length twine. And I think as soon as I get this undone, there we go. It's one piece. And... Okay, so we're gonna string, yep, we're just gonna string our beads. Okay, so I'm gonna start. Now you can color all of your beads if you want. Um, oops, there went one. Oh good, it rolled it this way, okay. Um, Okay, can you guys see this okay? So you can um, paint all of your beads or not. Totally up to you. And you can do them in a pattern or not. However you wanna do it. Okay, I'm just doing my I'm not doing mine in any order. Uh, there we go. 
not really doing them in any order, just however I feel like it. You can do that too. However, whatever color. I'm always like, you do you, you know? Whatever color you like, whatever color you think. Let's do a plain one. Hey, Lisa. How are you, my friend? Lisa, I'm being a messy crafter today. We're making the bunny garland kit. Is this the kit, Lisa, that you were saying you wanted to order? It's the hop to it kit. This one is giving me fits, you guys. Lisa, how's the plumbing coming? There we go. Is your plumbing doing all right? Hey, Pamela. How are you? Hey, Monique. Hey, Julie. Welcome to the boutique. We're making the hop to it. Hop to it chalk made garland kit. It is, well, I don't know that it's a messy kit. I think I'm just a messy crafter for sure. Now, if you don't want to leave these beads natural, you don't have to. Um, you could do the, you know, black would be, I think if you did a black, black and white, would be a super cute kit. Bonnie, have you done one with black and white beads and black and white Easter rabbits? I think that would be so cute, you guys. So cute. Okay. We have about got this. Or anything else I need to tell you? Any other promotions? Oh, you guys, we also have our luckiest bundle promotion still going on. The luckiest bundle is 50% off. And you get two transfers plus these six packets of paste in St. Patty's Day colors. So all the greens, all the golds, so pretty. So if you want to see what's in the luckiest bundle, just or you want to grab that bundle, just type lucky in the comments and you'll get the link to make that luckiest frame right there, okay? And if you want to add things to your cart, you can. If you're like, nope, I just want the lucky bundle, that's okay, take everything out of your cart except for that bundle that's at 50% off. However you wanna do it, that's how you do it. But we only have, um, you guys, that one's low in stock, which is good because St. Patrick's Day is almost here. So get the lucky bundle, use it today, use it, um, save it for next year, right? Okay, now I just have one more bead. So yeah, if you want more information about this Lucky Bundle for 50% off, just type Lucky in the comments and I'll send you the link. There we go. Okay, now what do my instructions say? Attach your bunny slim cuts to both ends of your twine and tie a knot to hold them in place. Okay. So let's attach. My bunnies are super cute, you guys. 
So we're gonna tie the knot right here. Okay, and then we're going to attach this bunny. Love the bunnies. Now don't forget you guys, um, you'll have the instructions if you get this kit, but make sure you glue the little poofs to their little bunny butts, right? <laughs> okay, next wrap your two long twine pieces around a four by four cardboard cutout or similar sized item to create the tassels. Feed the excess twine on both ends of your garland through the wrapped twine bundles. Cut each bundle on one side of the cardboard square to create fringe. Then add your ribbon and tie a knot to secure your tassels to the garland. Use the two short twine pieces to gather the top of the tassels into a bundle and give them shape. Trim the ends of your tassels and remove it as desired to complete your garland. Display your beautiful project where every bunny can see it. Okay, so this is the ribbon. And you guys, I don't have, Bonnie says another be beautiful. I don't mind the same, but Eastery. I think black and white would be gorgeous. Okay, so you guys, I did not bring, I didn't read ahead. I didn't bring cardboard up here to my craft room with me to create the tassels. Um, like the instructions say, but isn't this ribbon gorgeous? I, um, I have cardboard, but I don't think it's the right size. So you guys, um, we'll finish this. Um, we'll finish this and I'll show you a picture of it, but you've got the instructions here in the kit. Um, and if you scan you guys on the instructions, there's a QR code where you can scan the video and it will also give you, um, um, it will also show you how to do the tassel as well. But isn't that garland, isn't the garland so cute? And then see here in the picture, use the ribbon to add, to make and add the tassels. What do you guys think? Isn't it so cute? I love it. All we need to do is add our little tassels and it's going to be adorable. Throw me some hearts, you guys, if you love it. Hey, Cindy. Do you all think you can do this? I think you can. This kit is only $30. Um, it comes with everything you need except for the quick dry tool and um, the artist tool set. So if you want the link to the kit, type list. And then if you want the link for the, um, uh, the um, quick dry tool um, or the artist tool set, just put that in the comments and I'll send it to you, okay? All right, guys. Oh, thanks for all the hearts. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. I'll go cut my ribbon, add my tassels, and we'll be good, okay? But the instructions come in the kit. There's even a how-to video if you want to see how they made the tassels, okay? All right, you guys. Thanks for watching with me. Uh, thanks for guiding me through painting those darn beads. I knew those, <laughs> I knew those were going to be the hardest part. But we got some great tips on how you can do it easier and better, okay? All right, you guys, love you. Good night, Bonnie. And um, I'll be back with you again soon. All right, happy talking, y'all. Bye.